Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you my February favorites. Yes, that's right. These are the products that I've gone to again and again in the past month. Some of my favorite products, really some of them of all time. So I'm very excited to share these with you. This is always one of my favorite videos to show you what I really feel works the best for me in the hopes that it will be something that will enrich your life as well. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing and click that little bell that will just send you email notifications of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would help too, because it helps it be recommended to more people, which I always appreciate. Okay, let's get down to this. Now, the first product that I'm going to be sharing with you, I'm really surprised about this product because in the beginning, I thought it was a total gimmick. And I've just made a 30 day results video on this cream that I will post soon, but I absolutely love this little cream and I am amazed by the results. It's the Dr. Brandt Neck Sculpting Cream called Needles No More, and it uses this little rose quartz gua sha tool, and I won't go into exactly how I do this, but basically it takes less than a minute. You do it twice a day. You put this cream on your neck, and then you just kind of go up maybe 10 times in each area, front, middle, and the other side, and I have really noticed some very positive results. My neck is looking a lot smoother and firmer, and I can hardly wait for you to see that video so you can see my results too. Now, the next two products that I absolutely love are the CeraVe AM and PM Facial Moisturizing Lotions, and I just made a video with my recently new and improved skincare AM and PM, and these are the stars of those videos. I've really simplified my skincare, got rid of a lot of the serums that I was using because the studies really aren't out that the serums actually do sink into the skin and have any kind of results, but these creams have lipids, they have niacinamide, they are absolutely wonderful. I love the AM CeraVe especially because it has an SPF of 30, and I just went to my dermatologist and she said that just for daily use, using a moisturizer with an SPF of about 30 is just fine. But on those intense sun days, you would need to add another sunblock, which I'll show you another fave that I just found in just a moment. But I absolutely love these creams. I was noticing that I was getting a lot of little fine lines along my lower cheeks, and I wasn't sure if that was hormonal or lack of moisture. But once I started using these creams, my skin looked a lot plumper and those wrinkles were largely gone. Now my next fave is a sunblock that I was sent and I'm really appreciative that they sent me this sunblock because number one, it's about $14. It contains zinc oxide and not chemicals, so it plays very well with my Retin-A. Absolutely love this one. It comes out tinted. Here it is. As you can see, it looks like a little foundation there, and it goes on very smooth, almost like a heavier foundation, but very quickly it sinks into the skin. This is an SPF of 50, which I really do appreciate. It doesn't leave that greasy residue as some sunblocks do, and also it works extremely well under makeup. You really can't tell it's there. Absolutely a fabulous sunblock and very reasonable. Now my next faves are actually lash serums, and I will tell you I started to wear artificial lashes and very quickly realized that they were pulling out my natural lashes. I have a video that I think will be posted soon showing you how to wear natural lashes, and maybe you will have better luck than I did with keeping my natural lashes on, but I've since decided that I don't want to use the falsies as I really do like my natural lashes, and when I use these growth serums, they actually grow out very well. They're not totally grown out now after that kind of fiasco with the false lashes, but let me tell you, I have two faves here and one not so fave. This one is the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Enhancements. And a girl at work said she had a friend who used this and that it made her lashes look very long and lush. And I sprung for this and I think it was $120. And I used this for about a month and I have to say, I did not notice any growth in my lashes. I really didn't like this one at all. So this is not a fave. And I have gone back to the other two lash products that I used in the past. One is this Grand Lash MD, and it gave me very, very long lashes and very full lashes. Really love this one, but I believe this one is $65. 
And really, I got the same results from this Babe Lash Eyelash Serum. This one is about $47, I think, so it's a lot less expensive than the Grand Lash, and it is starting to make my lashes grow out again. On one of my eyes particularly, my middle lashes tend to be very, very sparse, but this Babe Lash and the Grand Lash has wonderful results with growing them out, and all you do is once a day, and I usually do it in the evening, you take out this little eyeliner type brush and it has the product on it and you just run it along the top of your lashes one little dip for each eyelash and it absolutely works beautifully and within about four weeks i saw excellent results now my next fave is this Too Faced Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection Palette. And I do have a video where I demonstrated another contour palette, which was the Lorac Contour Pro. I also really like that one. I tend to think that's for a little bit medium to dark skin tones, but I'm really liking this Coco Contour Palette because I think it's excellent in the light to medium skin tones. Here it is, and as you can see, I love this contour color because it is a grayed out, not too warm color. It's very, very natural looking. I have this color and then this highlighter on today, and I really think it creates a beautifully natural look. And one of the best things about this palette is that it comes with this wonderful little contour brush, and it is absolutely fabulous for using this product. You just bring the product down on either side and then flatten out the brush to smooth it out. And you can also bring this along your chin line to sculpt your chin. Absolutely a great little brush and a wonderful contour palette. Now my next two faves are cosmetic brushes. The first is this little e.l.f. concealer brush. Absolutely love this little brush and unfortunately it has my concealer on it. I liked it so well though that I just purchased another e.l.f. concealer brush and they're only $3 so the more the merrier. But basically what I do is I put my under eye concealer, dab it under my eyes, I also put it by my nose and on my chin and then I just take this little brush and just rub it out and it leaves the concealer beautifully smoothed out and this is the perfect size to get in those little spaces like beside your nose. Absolutely love this brush. If you don't have it, I think you'd love it. Now my next fave is another makeup brush which I absolutely love. This is the Japonesque, Japonesque, hard to say, high density foundation brush. It just has all these wonderfully dense little fibers. And what you do is you dab your foundation all over your face and then I take this and I spray it with my Urban Decay setting spray, about five sprays. And then I just rub that foundation in. I guess rub is too strong a word, but you just brush it in. And I watched a Wayne Goss video and he says due to all these little hairs we have on our face, the little peach fuzz, that to blend that all in seamlessly, you do go down. Then I go across the forehead and a little bit down on my neck. This absolutely produces a smooth, flawless finish. And I have to say, I found it for $26 all over the internet, but I found it at Walmart for only $16 and I've linked that below. Now my next fave is an eye product and I have it on right now and you can see it in the little corners there. I always have a problem finding a little illumination eyeshadow shade that actually sticks around all day and this one does. This is the MAC eyeshadow in nylon and this is what it looks like and I'll swatch it for you on my hand. I've got a brush in my hand. But look at the pigment on that color, absolutely bright and shiny. And what I do is I take this little concealer brush and I just dot it in both sides of that eyeshadow. And then I just go in the inner corner here. I don't really want to get too much on and I think I have enough. So I'll try to do this very, very gently. And okay. this eyeshadow applied with this little concealer brush just gives you that little bit of brightness right at the corners of your eyes, which brightens up your eyes and makes them sparkle. Now my next February fave is this Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the color Vintage Rouge. Absolutely love this. It's what I'm wearing now. And as you can see, it's just a very, very natural looking peach color that I believe everyone can wear. That's how it looks right there. And I'll show it to you on my finger here. Just a very, very natural peachy tone blush. One thing I especially like about this is that it does come with a little brush. It's a little sponge brush. It's not a wonderful brush, but when you're out and about and realize your blush needs a little bit of touching up, it's a great way to touch that up. And another thing I really like about this blush though is that you really don't have to touch it up much at all. It's very highly pigmented and very long wearing. Now my next fave is a mascara and I absolutely love this one and really it's pushing out my Steel Up mascara which I've used for about the past year. When my lashes got skimpy after applying the falsies for a while, 
I was looking for a new mascara to really give them more volume. The Stila really gave me a lot of length, but this mascara gives me length and volume. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and it only comes in black, but it's a very wearable black color, not super black, so blondes or brunettes or redheads can wear this beautifully. I really like the little brush that it comes with. There it is. It's just a little thick, fluffy brush. You can keep reapplying it. It does not flake. It wears all day. The only thing I don't like about it is that although this packaging is really cute, I like to be able to roll my mascara wand as it goes up, and this is made to where it's very, very hard to roll, almost impossible. But that's how it applies absolutely beautifully. I'm so excited about this mascara, and I think if you want volume, length, and va-va-voom, this one may be for you. Now my last three products are lip products and they become some of my absolute favorite ways to do my lips. The first is this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Seductress. And the thing I like about this, and I have it on right now, is that it's a liquid lipstick, but it's not uncomfortable. It's very, very comfortable. It is a matte, so it's not as moisturizing as a cream, but it does not feel bad on the lips at all. Here is a look at the applicator. And the thing about this is that it is a liquid lipstick that lasts all day. Very, very neutral, kind of a rosy, pinky nude. Absolutely love this. It reminds me a lot of my Pillow Talk. And then I've lined my lips in a wonderful MAC lip pencil called Oak. And I've really discovered these MAC lip pencils and absolutely love them for making your lips look just a little bit bigger. I especially like using a slightly brownish lip pencil around a nude to make your lips really pop. This one is called Oak, and I will swatch that for you. It is just a brownish, kind of a nude color, a little bit more brown than nude, but I think that's a very universal color that most people can wear. Absolutely love this lip pencil. It's a great nude color that lasts all day long. Now, I have a gloss on my lips, which I'm going to be doing a video about, and if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll click that little bell to be notified of that video, because it is a lip product called City Lips, and it is supposed to plump up your lips, and I've really noticed that it does that. Here it is. It has a little doe foot applicator. This is in the color Nude York, which is kind of an iridescent, goldy nude color. I'll go ahead and reapply it a little bit, and the thing about this lipstick is that it plumps your lips immediately, or they say within 10 minutes, and they say that you can put it on every evening, and I do have the clear version of it, which I have been doing, and they say that over time it actually does have some permanent plumping effects on your lips, and I've ordered several of these City Lips glosses in different colors because I really do think it helps my lip-challenged lips look a little plumper. Well, that is a look at some of the products I've been using and enjoying all month long. And if you've seen my channel before, you know I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been using these Language of Letting Go cards by Melody Beatty. So let's see what God wants us to think about for today. Ooh, I love this one. Focusing on peace. Focusing on peace. Today I will focus on a peaceful pace rather than a harried one. I will keep moving forward gently, not frantically. I will let go of my need to be anxious and upset, and I will replace these feelings with calmness and harmony. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and it really applies to me right now specifically. I have been feeling since about October of this past year that I am a rat in a maze, running and running and running and almost never catching up. My work has been crazy, crazy busy. I won't go into all the boring details of that. And this card just reminds me to slow down, take each thing one step at a time, and just not be so frantic about everything. I loved on this card where it said, I will let go of my need to be anxious and upset. Because I think in my first half especially, I think I had a need to kind of be anxious and upset. Something was always kind of bothering me. I was always working on one thing or another. It always felt frantic and a little bit out of control. But in our second half, let's focus on having peace. No matter what we're going through in our day, let's just take one step at a time, one item at a time, and realize that we have plenty of time to get everything done and to slow down and enjoy the moment. Take care. See you next time.